What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today I got another strategy video for you guys and this time I'm going to give you the new and updated strategy for how to dominate in heist. So this strategy is going to revolve exactly around Daryl. Daryl is the new OP brawler in heist. Definitely on offense. On defense not so much but he makes offense so much easier and honestly a double Daryl combo, if you're queuing with randoms, can work really well and is even really hard to stop even if you're facing randoms. Daryl is just so strong on offense. His ability to roll in from so far away and he has a lot of health and he can deal a lot of damage. He is going to be the key to winning on heist. So let's go over the strategy. So if you're queuing with a team, you're obviously going to want a Daryl and then you're also going to want a long range brawler like a Colt or a Brock. Um, you can use a Ricochet if you have a Dynamite uh, on your team as you really need someone to break open walls for Ricochet to really be that successful. I would prefer a Colt or a Brock. Colt did get a bit of a nerf recently. That's why you're seeing some Brock now. Either of them are good options. It's really going to come down to which you think is going to defend better for you. Both of them are good enough on offense. Now for the third character, you're going to want either a Barley or a Dynamite. Barley did get a bit of a nerf re recently with his throw speed being reduced. So it's now a little bit harder for him to land attacks. His health buff from his star power wasn't a big buff for him in heist because in heist it's really about big rushes and chipping away with your super as opposed to continuously attacking like smash and grab or bounty so you want to use either a barley or a dynamite either of them are perfectly good options barley's a little bit better offensively in my opinion um it, but it's whatever you prefer i would say all right let's go over Daryl, first off, as he's going to be the most important brawler, and let's start out on offense. So first off, as a Daryl, you want to be going on the same side as your thrower when you start out a game. Now, this is going to be true on all maps. You want to be going with the thrower, and then the long-range guy is going to be by himself on the other side of the map to start out. And this is because the long-range guy is going to be able to chip away at people and build up his super without dying fairly easily. He has long enough range that he can pull back and get to cover and not take too much damage. But a thrower has a little bit less range, so having that tank with him just helps him survive a little bit longer and be able to get in a better position to get his super. Now as a Daryl, your main priority is just going to be to chip away people and build up your super. If you die, that's okay, but you want to make sure you're getting your super up a good amount before you're dying. If you're dying and you really didn't charge your super that much, it's a really big detriment in a heist because it takes so long to get back up to the objective. That's the main thing in heist. If you're ever low health, try and stop attacking and heal up. And even if it means, you know, you're putting on less pressure, that's okay because you're still going to put out more pressure than if you died, you know, a couple seconds later and then you have to wait to respawn and then take another 10 seconds to get up the map. So with Daryl, the key is going to be to get your super. And then once you have your super, it's going to be about where to super in and when. So you want to make sure both of your teammates are alive, first of all. And not only that, they're not in the spawn. They're somewhere near you and able to attack and move forward. Now, it's better if they have their super, but it's not completely necessary. They can build it up some and deal some damage to enemies and at the least get some more damage on the safe by moving in. It's obviously easier if they have their super though. So as Daryl, I highlighted some areas on three maps where you can super in if none of the walls are broken, but if some of the walls are broken, obviously that's going to give you some more options as to where you can super in. But you do want to be a good, a really good distance away with Daryl as the super is very far. You want to try and end up as close to the safe as possible with Daryl. You don't want to be starting too close and then supering in and then ending up not close to the safe at all. So you definitely want to, it might take a little bit of practice as to where you have to super, but I tried to highlight some good areas for you guys as to where you can super in from. Now, I didn't highlight anything on GG Corral as there's not really a great super spot for him. You sort of have to break down the walls to have a really good spot for him to super in. Now, when you super in with Daryl, of course, you want to try and attack the safe some, but it's not a main priority. When you super in, you want to make sure you get back some of your super. Because that's the key with Daryl is supering in as much as possible 
and that's really going to help your teammates deal a ton of damage to the safe as Daryl has a lot of health and he does a lot of damage at close range so supering in right next to the enemy and the safe is going to be a huge threat to them and they're going to put a lot of their attention on him and this really allows your teammates to deal a lot of damage to the enemy and to the safe. If you're not really able to build up your super at all, it's going to be as hard to be as aggressive even if you don't deal much damage to the safe, but if you get your super back, it's going to allow your team to be really aggressive and you're going to be able to make a lot of pushes and put a lot of pressure on the enemy and it's honestly really hard to stop as a defender. Now you can obviously play it by ear if you're supering into the safe and you see the enemy sort of ignores you and doesn't spend a lot of attention on you, definitely just go ahead and deal as much damage to the safe as you can and then when the enemy starts approaching you, start chipping, uh, start shooting them a little bit but if they're going for you, try to not be too aggressive towards the safe and just try and get your super back some and stay alive as long as you can to allow your teammates to deal a lot of damage to the safe. Alright, so that was how you play offense with Daryl. Now let's talk about defense. So defense is going to be pretty different. As a short range brawler in heist, you have to be very careful not to feed the enemy their supers. Obviously, you don't have much range, so it's going to be hard for you to get close and deal much damage to them. So a lot of the times, you're going to have to be not very aggressive, and you're going to have to wait for the enemy to come to you. You want to stay behind cover, stay in the grass, and wait for the enemy to get close enough to you where you can pop out and take some shots at them and then kill them. But you don't want to be rushing up too far up the map Unless you clear the enemy team, then you can rush up some and get behind cover and use that cover to force the enemy to not be able to get close to you or push up the map. That's really going to be the only time you get too aggressive or very aggressive with Daryl pushing up the map on defense. The other thing to keep in mind is you want to stay on the enemy tanks. Those are going to be the guys you have a good matchup versus and you're not going to be feeding them their super too much. The other thing to keep in mind is if those tanks have their super. If they do, especially an enemy Daryl, you want to try and stay by the safe and just wait for them to come in. And once they come in, then you deal with them right away and you try and kill them as quickly as possible. That's going to be your objective as a tank on defense in heist. You want to try and stop an enemy Daryl, a Bull, or El Primo from dealing a lot of damage to the safe or killing your teammates uh, by jumping in or supering in. That's going to be your main objective. But that's going to be pretty much it for defense. It's nothing too crazy. Alright, so let's go over the other two brawlers. Alright, so let's start out on offense. And as I was saying earlier, if you're a thrower, you want to go with the tank as they're going to be able to provide some cover for you and allow you to get in a better position to chip shot the enemy and build up your super. Now, there's not really any crazy strategies with any of these brawlers. The main objective is just going to be to get your super as much as possible. And on certain maps, just use your super whenever you can or try and save it for when a your team's Daryl can push in and use it then. Now, if you're a thrower, you're probably going to try and want to avoid any enemy Colts or Ricochets as they're going to have a really good matchup on you unless you're able to get behind some walls and attack them behind that. In those cases, it's obviously going to be in your favor, but sometimes you're not going to be able to get behind those walls. And in those cases, try and just rotate around and get a more favorable matchup versus a different brawler. Any sort of melee brawler is going to be really easy for you to build up your super on or you're just going to have to target an enemy thrower. Now, if you're a long range brawler, um, you can pretty much take whatever matchup you choose, but you're obviously going to have a better matchup versus the throwers and the tanks as well. But you are going to have to take on those long range guys as you're going to be the one who's really going to be able to take them out the most and the easiest. Now, as far as using your super, if you're a barley, you want to try and use your super as close to the safe as possible, as then you're going to be able to deal the most damage to the safe, as your flames are going to be in a much smaller area, and it's going to be more concentrated on the safe. So the closer you can get to the safe before you throw your super is going to be key. Now, if you're a Brock or a Dynamite, your super is not going to deal a ton of damage to the safe. Uh, like a Dynamite, his main attack does almost as much damage as his super. So when you use your super as those two guys, try and break some walls and try and hit some enemies. If you can kill enemies, you're going to deal way more damage to the safe 
than if you were to hit the safe and not hit any enemies. So that's going to be your main objective is hitting walls and enemies. And then if you can hit the safe as well, obviously that's going to be the best value, but you're not always going to be able to do that. So just focus on killing enemies if you can and breaking some walls, making you have more chances to get the safe, uh, more places for your long range to the safe and easier Daryl super is in. So that's going to be the main thing. And if you're a cult, you're just going to use your super as much as possible. Um, it's not going to be a huge objective whether the Daryl supering in with cults or not. But definitely don't use it if you think you're going to be targeted and die right away after using it. Like if you're going into a thrower's attack range and he knows you're going to attack and you're going to die from using it. That might not be a great situation to use it unless you're just trying to finish off a safe. Otherwise, try and save it for a Daryl supering in and then you're going to have a much better push. Okay, and now defense. Probably the main thing to keep in mind is the throwers on your team have to try and stay on the enemy throwers as you can't really allow them to get behind walls as then it really puts your team in a bad position as they force you to go to one side of the map ten most of the time and then it makes a lot easier shots for the enemy cult, crows, or whatever brawlers they have. It's going to be much easier for them to hit you as you're going to be grouped up as you're trying to avoid that thrower. So on defense, as a thrower, you want to try and stay on enemy throwers. If you're a Brock or a Dynamite, try and save your super for in situations where you think the enemy is going to be using their super on the safe. You don't have to do this. If you have any time where you're going to get good value from the super and hitting the enemy and charging up your next super, that's obviously going to be a good use of your super, so always do that. But otherwise, try and save your super for like a Barley supering or a Colt supering. Those are going to be two supers that are going to deal a lot of damage to your safe. And those are going to be great times to use your super against them. As a Barley, you can save your super for a tank supering in. But it might depend on if you see your tank is ready for that tank. In which case, you might not have to. So you're just going to have to play it a little bit by ear. And see what the situation calls for. I think the only other thing to keep in mind is that you're going to want to have the thrower on one side of the map. And the long range on the other. As the tank isn't really going to be able to help out a ton. So it's going to rely on those two guys a lot. And the thing with defense is you don't need to be too aggressive. The main thing is to try and limit the enemy movement off the map and try to not let them have too many supers. If they're getting a lot of supers, it's going to be a lot easier for them to make big pushes and deal a lot of damage to the safe. So that's going to be the main thing. Um, also, probably the biggest thing on defense right now is to try and limit the amount of Daryl supers the enemy gets. If the enemy Daryl's getting a lot of supers, it's going to put a lot of pressure on you. So just try and stay back from enemy Daryl's. Just keep out of their range. That's going to be really important. Daryl is very strong on offense right now in the heist. So try and limit the amount of supers he can get. Just chip shot him, force him to go away from you, and don't let him get his super. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about this strategy or on any of the particular maps. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and I will try and answer them. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later.